Milan Fashion Week making making lots of headlines this morning, Indeed, Mark. We yes. saw Emma Watson, Kate Moss, Scarlett Johansson all photographed last night. I know. In beautiful black. It, it, it looks like the LBD is back, doesn't it? it is. The little black dress. I mean, it is Milan Fashion Week. I would expect, you know, maybe up in the ante ever so slightly, <laughs> but they look very elegant. They look extremely They look beautiful. Elegant. They look fantastic. Uh, but yeah, because Milan's going to start it, that means it's the end of London Fashion Week. And we saw some, you saw some big names, some good, some good, you know, some great faces there. Um, Ka Kylie was at the, uh, the Burberry show, um, looking Ooh. fantastic. She was rocking the. Um, uh, a classic kind of Burberry trench, but in the leather as well. And those, uh, look at those incredible shoes. I'm They're loving the awesome shoes. Awesome shoes, right? I don't know if yeah, you can see the shoes, but the shoes... Yeah, yeah. Very, very bottom. There you go, yeah. something. They are something they else. Are. Yeah, some proper Burberry uh, numbers there. Uh, Jodie Comer, she also arrived as well at the uh, at the Burberry show, uh, looking classically elegant. Now, what's going on here? Is that a wee dress that you've it's just a dress. pulled up? It's a wee... Is it a skirt that you've just pulled up? <laughs> Is that a wee dress you've pulled up? It's, it looks, it's it, lovely. It, well, it kind of looks like a kilt, doesn't it? Yes. It's, it's basically, I think it's a similar making um, of a kilt and it looks like a heavy ah. uh, heavy fabric as it well. It's lovely. Very simple. It's very simple and, and a beautiful classic uh, boot as well on her. Um, we went and saw Naomi Campbell. She went, uh, she was um, at uh, Skepta's uh, fashion show, uh, Skepta's streetwear label. She went Ooh. and wore uh, Alexander McQueen. Oh, that's uh, lovely. Oh, I mean, it's a good I mean, one, yeah, that'll be fortunes, won't it? Oh, you, you, like, yes. <laughs> just... <laughs> The prices have just gone nuts. You know what I mean? It's just, fortunes. it's just crazy. Yeah, but an, an amazing uh, McQueen one there, Beautiful. and also uh, Nicola Coughlin as well. She now was this, a, she's love, awesome, isn't is, she? She is really, she's really into fashion. She Aye. looks fabulous. I love that colour. Isn't that the? It's just I am I'm obsessed by the the, the combination of colours mm. here. That beautiful kind of chartreuse green next to that soft pink, and then a bright yellow bag. Because why not? <laughs> it's fashion week. Let's there are no just rules. Go for it, so. You can do whatever you want, uh, and it looks fantastic. It does, doesn't, doesn't it? it? She's it a does good, indeed. good girl. Now, look, British Vogue. Yeah. It's got a new Ed. We've got a new editor. So um, Choma Nadi has been announced as the new um, editor for British Vogue. Um, Forty-four years old. Um, she'll be taking over in. October. She's currently the editor of the US Online um, oh, okay. uh, edition. Okay. Um, and she's also going to be the first black woman to ever edit oh. the magazine as well. Right, okay. She replaces Edward Eninfo, who yeah. we all know. Um, uh, he was the head of the magazine. Controversial in many ways. Controversial. I, I mean, I would, I, would, I would adore to have been a fly on the wall in Vogue's <laughs> offices. Some of those everything that was There's going on. There's a movie on. there, isn't there? I know they've done it already, but they can do it again. <laughs> exactly. So his new role is... You ready for this? OK. Go on, then. Is the editorial advisor of British Vogue and global creative and cultural advisor of Vogue. There you go. There you have it. So, Lovely. yeah, so make it simple, <laughs> very simple. <laughs> now, look, over the past few days, yeah. obviously the King and Queen have been in Paris. Mm. And Camilla's style, now, it's a difficult thing, because, you know, the, the, the Parisians, shall we say, can be a bit judgmental. They can indeed, When yeah. it comes to fashion. Yes. But she's won them over. I think she, she's done a, yep. she's done a great job. She still kept it very characteristically Camilla as well, oh. where it's just a toned down. It's taken down. But I think some of her most fashion forward looks. Um, this is her yesterday um, in in the in the white there. This um, lovely uh, piece here in, by Fiona Clare um, that she's worn before. So it's it's a gorgeous kind of like long uh, white jacket and then a the monochrome uh, dress. It's underneath sort of effortlessly as well. elegant. It's just kind of effortless. It? But speaking of that, I think the the night previously when she was at Versailles. As you do. Yeah. <laughs> Glamorous and fabulous, is it? <laughs> um, she looked amazing. I don't think she's ever looked better apart she's from her wedding. No. That is gorgeous. And that's the, one of the Queen's necklaces. The Queen's isn't necklaces, it? Yeah. yeah. But um, she's wearing that's Dior. Lovely which I think is really, I think that's really good. That's a great nod to French fashion. She should wear a French designer, you know, a yeah. classic French designer there. Um, she was wearing that, she looked amazing. She, she had this incredible cape that was actually helped by uh, Brigitte Macron. She, she was like, yeah, helping her kind of sort, of, sort herself out there, <laughs> which is lovely. Uh, but Brigitte Macron also wearing Dior as well in the Navy, which I think is, is quite, quite lovely, really. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think it's, it's, it's a great nod. Um, we went and saw her do that. When she landed though, as well, I thought the, uh, the pink outfit, I thought was um, was uh, absolutely stunning as well. Another Fiona Clare um, outfit here. She just uh, got it right. She's got it she? right. Uh -huh. And then... it's not easy. I mean, she's a woman in her seventies. She I looks know. absolutely fantastic. I know. And, and she's got a wee heel, but they look quite comfy. They those do look heels. Comfy, which I is, hope they are. Which, which is which is all good. Yeah. Um, lovely little hat as well from Philip Tracy. Her favourite milliner um, Be out there as well. Beautiful. Um, for, from one queen to another, I do need to make a special mention because it's uh, it's 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 Queen Your Mammy. Your Mammy's My birthday mom, today. It's, it's a queen. Queen's birthday, I tell you. There she, uh, is. there she is. There she is. Oh, oh happy birthday, Mum. I won't tell everybody that yeah. you're 82. Oh, I just did. <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it's been great. She's been down here and we've had such a fantastic That's time lovely. with Auntie Josephine and, yeah. and my brother's been here as well. And it's just been lovely Excellent. to celebrate because she's Excellent. been not very well at all. No, and no. she's amazing. She is. She's Happy an birthday, incredible woman. Mammy. I yeah. shall see you in a minute. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. My pleasure. Thanks so much. See you later, though. Yes, yeah, yeah. We're talking dark floors, which you are rocking today. Dark um, floors. And, and also packing away your summer stuff. It's, time it's to that do it. time of yes, year, isn't it? Is. it? You have to put that away and bring your <laughs> jumpers out. <laughs>